hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to show you how to fix lifting this is um, a soak off gel overlay on my natural nails and I have been um, using a peel off base coat to do a bunch of gel manicures and stuff and then pulling it off and I haven't been very careful and I kind of picked under the gel overlay a little bit so I caused some lifting and I'm going to show you how to fix that it's taken me a while to get this video out I recorded this a quite a while ago and I'm just now getting around to editing it so I apologize for that I really wanted to get this out sooner but I kind of got overwhelmed with all the Christmas manis and whatnot so <laughs> um, right here I'm just showing you where I filled some lifting before and you can see that white line that is because I did not properly um, take care of the lifted spot before I went ahead and just put the gel over top of it so in this video I'm going to show you how to properly take care of that so you don't have any um, issues with the gel manicure after you put your new gel down okay so first thing you want to do is take a pair of nippers and cut away the gel that's lifted from the nail try not to tug on it um, you don't want to cause it to lift any more than it already is just cut away the extra that's uh, pretty lifted then take a file and you're gonna go in and file the gel that's around the lifted area you do not want to file onto your natural nail you just want to try to file the gel that is right next to the natural nail to get it as smooth as possible so when you do your fill it won't be as hard to do I hope I'm making sense guys <laughs> I try my best to explain things but sometimes it's just it's hard to explain um, so I filed it a bit and noticed that there was still a bit pulling away from the nail so I cut that away and then go in with my file some more and I just keep smoothing out the gel and thinning down the rest of the gel a little bit because we're going to add our new gel over top of the entire nail not just that lifted spot and a good way to check and see if you've got all of the gel nice and smooth um, is to take some rubbing alcohol and clean the spot and that way it gets rid of the dust from the filing and then you can see whether you need to go in and file some more or not. Like I said, I had a pretty significant amount of lifting, so I had to do quite a bit of work on this. Um, but this is sped up pretty fast. So this takes a little bit of time, and like I said, you want to be really careful not to get your natural nail with the file while you're doing this. You want to avoid filing down your natural nail. You just want to get the gel that's around it. And here I am happy with the result of the filing so you just clean the nail and now you're gonna go in like you would normally do with a gel fill and you want to uh, dehydrate the nail and prime the nail and you just want to do that on the natural nail part there right where it's lifted And then just as if you were going to go in and do a fill, you want to take a nice thin layer of gel and really scrub that into the nail. Make sure it's a nice thin layer and you're really working it into the natural nail so it sticks good. Okay, once you got that initial base layer down, you're gonna go in and cure for two minutes. And then you're going to notice here that it's not even, you got kind of like a little dip in the nail. That's where we repaired the lifting but didn't file off all the gel completely. So I'm just going to go in now with the second layer of gel and start building up the structure and the apex and the strength of the nail and just like you would normally be doing a gel fill.
Once you're happy with the shape of the nail, go ahead and give it a full cure. And you can see right here that there's no white mark on the nail. You can't even tell there was ever any lifting, which is exactly what you want. Then you go ahead and clean off that inhibition layer and you're ready to either file and shape the nail if you need to or go ahead and do whatever manicure you're ready to do. And that's it. I hope this was helpful guys. I'm sorry I'm so bad at explaining things, but please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.